of the AC solar panel. Um, right now we are at uh, you know at Kuching, Sarawak, and uh, we are testing this uh, AC solar panel. And on top of this place, uh, actually we are at the rooftop, okay, of a Zim rooftop, okay. Uh, we have put uh, two pieces of the AC solar panel. Uh, each pieces is roughly about 200 watt peak, okay. Uh, each piece is a 100 watt pit, so totally is a 200 watt pit uh, AC solar panel. And I uh, will put in the rooftop, zinc rooftop. The reason we're doing that is actually uh, we wanted to test the performance of this uh, AC uh, solar panel. Uh, some of you might be aware that you know during the hot day, uh, hot sun, uh, you know solar panel might the efficiency might drop is still because of hot due to heat. Yeah, so on top of a zinc zinc roof. Definitely, this place is gonna be uh, very hot. Let's say when when the sun comes out, and the heat from the zinc uh, roof will probably will transfer to the you know solar panel, as vice versa. Yeah. So, want to test the performance, uh, especially in the very uh, hot condition. What will be the you know the performance of this uh, AC solar panel? Okay. So, in other words, actually we are testing the heat coefficient, yeah, of the uh, solar panel. You know. So you might aware that let's say a 50 watt or 100 watt solar panel, for example, a 100 watt solar panel during a hot day, uh, you will not get 100 watt. You probably will get about roughly about 50 watt to you know 60 watt, and the rest of the you know power will lost due to the the heat, yeah, the temperature coefficient of the cell, yeah. And the second thing that uh, we want to test is actually the uh, efficiency of the system, yeah, solar system. Uh, because some of you might concern that um, you know a small scale um, grid type. Uh, solar system like this, uh, the efficiency will be uh, will be poor. Yeah, some some of you might might claim that, but actually want to find out whether it's true or not on the AC solar panel. Yeah, for instance, um, some of you might claim that um, you know 100 watt solar system at the end of the day, um, you might only get about 60 to 70 percent of the power. Yeah, the 40 to 50 percent of the power actually lost. Uh, you know in the uh, you know in the panel, the coefficient and things like that, lost in the cable. Uh, loss in the you know inverter and things like that yeah so in other words 100 watt panel you only get about 50 to 60 watt yeah so actually want to put this uh, AC solar panel 200 watt okay during the hot sun come up and let's see how much uh, you know power we can get uh, from this AC solar panel yeah we need to be like the all traditional panel uh, have this kind of poor performance yeah so let wait for the sun to come out and let's put it to the test all right Um, right now, so I'm going to show you the performance of the uh, AC solar panel, a 200 watt uh, AC solar panel and can produce up to 160 watts. This is a very amazing uh, because some of you, you know, a lot of people are quite concerned about the this kind of uh, small scale uh, grid type or AC solar panel won't be able to give you the uh, performance which is they worry about the efficiency will be bad. But as you can see, uh, actually it's not true. Uh, it constantly still giving up uh, roughly about 150 watts uh, of power, watt peak, uh, on a 200 watt uh, solar panel. That means the efficiency is actually higher than you know 75 percent, 70 to 75 percent, and it's not as claimed as those people always say that a small scale uh, system. Uh, will have a very bad efficiency and as you can see now the reading from the energy meter have shown the AC solar panel is performing quite well right now it's actually a 80% uh, performance from a 200 watts that means like 200 watt solar panel able to give you a 160 watts alright so um, you have it the AC solar panels is small 
but it doesn't mean that the performance is poor. In fact, the performance is more than meet the eye. Thanks for watching.